we interrupt our program to bring you this important message. This is my little brother. Everybody see Blueface, but, you know, I see little Jonathan with the big old buck teeth, you know, who would do anything to play the game. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's because that's the last time I seen him because, you know, I went to jail and then I came out and he was grown. I don't know. That's that's how I always see him. You know, it's little Jonathan. So, um, fast forward, bro, like, my brother's lifestyle, that shit, it scares me, bro. Like, I don't, I don't, when I came home, I thought I was about to be on some old man chilling in a rocking chair type shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's, and then he got famous right before I got out. So, you know, um, I wanted to leave that deep water alone, but you know, my mom and my brother trying to be famous. My brother is famous. I never wanted to leave him in that deep water alone, dealing with people like whack and all that, you know, just being vulnerable. So it's like, I kind of kept putting myself in those situations to protect my brother or protect them. You know what I'm saying? My mom getting into a whack, he threatening her. And you know what I'm saying? She calling me. So it's like, they kept putting me through yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, them, them is his words exactly, bro. He didn't say no fight. So I, I'm geeked up. My mom, he hang up the phone. My mom and my sister is all acting funny, talking about whack probably has something to do with it, this and this and that. So keep in mind, I'm at this time thinking my brother is up somewhere trapped in a cell with niggas trying to beat him up every day. You know what I'm saying? He made it seem like nigga five or six niggas was on his head and they had beat him up already and they kept beating him up. And then, you know what I'm saying? This shit scared the shit out of me, bro. Like, everything about my brother's life really scares me, bro. Because the thing that happened in Vegas, what he doing, you know, people running up on him while he boxing, trying to stab him and shit like that. Like, that type of stuff don't happen to me. And it scares the shit out of me. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's not really how my lifestyle is. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be at home with my daughter and stuff. So, you know, seeing me go through that was, yeah, me, I was scared as hell. Like, damn, my brother is in there with... You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I be scared. And I know niggas be tripping. I know he be tripping. You know what I'm saying? And then as far as like me, when I went to jail, I was 16. I was a child. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I never was officially even from a gang, bro. You can ask my homies. You know what I'm saying? I used to kick it because my older cousin was from the set. And niggas just used to let me kick it. Nigga, I never officially got a put on or nothing. I was, if anything, I was being courted. Keep in mind, again, when I went to jail, I was a child. You know what I'm saying? I was 16. Nigga, I had just had my 16th birthday. So, yeah, I was never, they talk about it, I was never even a full-fledged gang member, bro. You know, and you can ask my homies. And, and, and Wack trying to say that niggas is over here, he got work, bro. Tell him to post it, you feel me? Because he don't got it, you know what I'm saying? And the, the fucked up thing is he a goofy because he just think because I don't be with my homies or I don't be all around that I did something. And it's like, no, bro, I just really be on some chill shit, you know? I'm a stay-at-home dad, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm over the gangster life. You know what I'm saying? The only reason I be out there like that is to protect my family and to protect my brother. But I don't be out here portraying myself. Let's talk about it. Like I say, your opinions are always welcome in the comments down below. I love to read each and every one of you different thoughts and opinion. Like, I love interacting with people. So, so when y'all want to, just like I said, y'all can fill up the comment section and don't be afraid. Just let me know how y'all feel on certain topic shows i may cover on this channel so let's get to it so we know blueface brother dre has been on, on a rant lately um if y'all not in tune or y'all haven't been in tune i couldn't have been that much i was in tune but i couldn't elaborate on it because i was going through certain situations in my life that had to put a pause on to giving my commentary but now that life is you know and the healing journey i'm able to come back to do what i like to do you understand i don't do this for you know views or whatever i do it because i like talking interacting with each and everybody and i love just doing commentary so let me push on so we all know blue face brother dre has been on a rampage and he lately been expressing his feeling of how he what he's going through to me i feel like he's going through a, dep a depression a depression stage in his life i feel like he's having some type of i'm not gonna say mental issue like a mental breakdown like he has been covering up a lot of emotions and feeling due to for me how i feel how i see it not able to express it because of the kind of mother he has let's be quite honest clarissa has not been that mother lately to her kids Clarissa been chasing money, fame, and light. 
You understand? She will do it by any means necessary. If it's embarrassing her kids, is it shaming her kids online? She would, you know, she would do it. So people had concern that Dre, a couple of weeks or a week ago, if I'm not mistaken, he had said he was homeless. And he was saying other stuff. Clarissa came and back, you know, backdoored it and said he's not homeless. He has a place. He has a house. You know, she's trying to say that he was, you know, going to, like, he was, like, he's trying to call her own son crazy. But I feel due to this kid being, due to this young man being locked up since the age of 16, he, he didn't got to enjoy his life. He didn't have to enjoy his youth because of certain situation that took place in his lifetime so he had to spend time in prison since the age of 16 so when he got out you know he made his little family with his wife and him and his wife does at time as like any couple go through the ups and down and if y'all in tune to my page i will link in the description below he had made and came forward saying his life was in jeopardy that his baby mama was out to you know Cleo him I can't say that word because they will you know ban me so they try to Cleo him so he came back and you know he made it seem like they're okay now but now his issue is with WAC 100 he has been going on the rampage of WAC 100 he feel like WAC 100 has a lot to do with his brother's situation and he say whack 100 claims to say that he has stuff on dre and dre said if you have it put it out there and he trying to say that whack is just lying and that his mother to me he feel like his mother's taking whack side but he say he just he wanted to, when he had came out of prison he wanted to live a normal lifestyle he wanted to enjoy his life as growing an older man to an old man in a rocket chair but then he couldn't live a normal private life because his brother is very famous and his mother you know she's little rising up not as much famous but her name is known out there because of blue and how her and blue and chris and all them went at it with one each other and if you know she's on social media always acting a motherfucking fool you ask me she's worse sir. well her and china Chris Sean's sister China and Blueface mother Clarissa, in my in my opinion, are just the same to me. So Dre had dropped a video, and I will put the video on here. But as he dropped the video, he stated a lot of stuff. So I'll make sure I drop it so y'all can hear it. But he went on to say, he said, I have to learn how to love because I was never shown real love in my life. Some people only like me because they say I am handsome, but I think nobody ever loved in me for me. This new chapter is not only about growth, but admitting my wrong, my own wrongs so I can change my whole family. What's down to set me up? Oh, he said, so I could change. My whole family was down to set me up for fame, even my wife. It hurts to explains to know that people you love once you did so they could benefit to go through with it hurts so much because i know you never loved me don't think just because you related to someone they give a fuck because they don't plenty of mothers probably despise their own kids i had to rely on god and him i had to rely on god and him only because I can't trust anybody anymore. This world is a cruel place when you focus on greed. That was one. Let me go to the other one. So, you don't have no period, so it's kind of like kind of hard. It's like a like him talking going on. So it says, "Today y'all leave me alone, and I'll stop. But I know you're sending people still." I know you're sending people still. Leave me alone, whack. You don't want to fight, so let it go, bro. If my brother wants to still be over there with y'all, that's on him. Hope y'all make millions together. Just leave me alone, you evil. You're evil for flipping my BM 
on me. That shit hurts me bad because I really loved her. I know nobody believes me, but she was my soulmate. I won't get any other. I won't get any other one. I have to accept that. But I loved her so much. Like I know my brother loves Jade. We just don't know how to love. We just don't know how to love. My life was hard and it's no excuse, but it was blind to me to think I was loving because I was loving people how my mom loved in me. Really, look who, look at who my mom is. By this time, I realized how messed up she raised us. I was running for my life, but I wish I loved you better, Katie. But we can't come back from you wanting me hurt. I think of all, wait, I think of you all the time. I didn't cherish what I had and I lost it to evil to an evil man who came to a bunch of weak people at their weakest. But leave me alone, bro. You scared of me for no reason. I don't chase <clears throat> who's scary. If you didn't want to fight, you should have just said that. You heard I can fight, so you don't want it. Thought you was a man, but you just a short man with money turning man moms against them. You a sick little man, bro. Stop sending people over here. I'm new. I'm in a new state, so leave me alone. All right. He goes on to say, I'm in a whole new state. Ain't no gangs out here. If some follow me way out here, it's cut. It could only be one person. Bro, leave me alone and move on and I will do the same. And then he proceeds to say, keep, keep moving out of fear. I need to trust God. He's greater than any of this. So he shows a message and the message said, I definitely heard a whack voice on the phone with her but you could take it from what you want just be safe it's all i care about about all the politic ain't with it and then dre put so apparently the phone call whack made to my mom that day about the supposed to fight was recorded about what happened but i'm crazy if i'm crazy are they crazy so i'm still lying let me see and then he said all right that's the repeat so he puts Dale in his IG story of what his mama say. I can't really read it because he has a statement there, but I'll let y'all see it for yourself. But in this statement, he puts on his mama IG story. He said, this ain't even a good cover up. And I, and I didn't make them say whack name. They playing both sides for real. Getting a whole family in your mix to be famous. Please pray. And then he's Drake proceeds to say, God, please help me grant me courage. So let's go say Whack Brother. I mean Whack Brother, excuse me. Um Blueface Brother is currently going through some situation with Whack. And like I said, I haven't been in tune on it that much, but if y'all know what's currently going on or what was going on that is making Dre feel this way, like I said, y'all are freely to let me know on the comments down below. Like I give y'all commentary on stuff that i cover and i always love to see, hear y'all thoughts and your opinions back to me like i said we all could learn something out of this and what i learned is treasure your loved ones like clarissa if you love your kids stop choosing the fame stop choosing your own ego stop choosing you know money and materialistic thing over your family at the end of the day these are your sons they need you if you feel if she feel like her kids need mental help by all means she really needs mental help because people like to clap her on and say she likes to say real stuff in, in reality when it comes to your kids that should be left off of social media if you're a real mother that should be done off of social media you should be Clearing shit up and making peace with your kids because they are your sons, the one you created, the one you put on this world. We didn't ask to be on, be put into this world. The parents they decided to lay down and create the kids decided to put us on here. So at the end of the day, be a mother and stop being a fucking class clown and getting on here chasing fame, chasing anything just to get your name out and popping so you can make 
a, make a way for you and yourself and your husband. That's your son, Dre. If you know he lived it a hard knock life and had to get incarcerated at the age of 16, spent his little whole life in there. In reality, he's still stuck on that little boy situation and he needs healing. So if you his mother, give him some type of healing. Stop choosing whack over your kids because whack at the end of the day does not care about none of y'all but himself and about his money and his family. And hell, he probably don't even give a fuck about his family. He probably just give a fuck about the money. If you ask me. So I feel in reality... Wack likes to say, oh, people are feds, people are this. I got work on, I got papers on people. But at the day, people got papers on Wack 100 themselves. People got papers saying Wack is a snitch. People got papers saying stuff about Wack. Everything Wack say is not valid. So at the end of the day, I feel, even though this young man, the way he treated his, you know, his baby mama was highly wrong. But how can he love someone if no one really truly loved him? How can he treat a woman the way she's supposed to be treated if he never saw a man treat his mother the way they're supposed to be treated? And his mother never told him how to treat a woman. You see how she goes on social media and bash the mother of his of her you know sons the kid's mother of his sons you understand she don't stand on principles she's very fucked up and screwed up in the head just like chris sean and just like china and just like the rest of them he don't have no excuse to me but at the end of the day he needs mental help he really do and it's sad because people will laugh about people's situation like this and gloat about people's situation like this until it's too late. And when it's too late, that's when people be like, oh, we should have known, or oh, we should have got them help, or all oh, this, all oh, that. But when it's really too late, it's going to be late. And this young man look like he's lost. And he just want love from a family. But at the end of the day, you know, his wrongs does not make him right. And his right does not make him wrong. But he needs his mother give him a helping hand and lift him up and admit that she should be sorry for the pain and suffering from you know she deserves to admit that she caused her kids pain and suffering from the shit she put them through since they were a child because if Blueface said it her daughter said it and her son is saying it obviously something took something took place while they was young that we didn't see because like I say we are the outsiders just looking in and giving our own opinions and thoughts but I don't know. I just wish him well. I hope nothing but safe healing upon that young man and may somebody reach out and touch him and get him to proper help and let him know it's going to be okay. And let him know his action of being, you know, verbally abusive to a woman is not it as well too. It's not it as well. Because he has a daughter and he has to start doing right for his own daughter. And if you have to leave your families alone, even though how much it hurts them, sometimes you have to leave them alone to find your own peace and your own sanity. But that's about it. Let me know your own opinion and thoughts on the Dre situation with Clarissa, Wack 100, and with his kid's mother. Until the meantime, in between time, I'll see you guys next time around on my next commentary video.